Hey, I'm Tim Holtz. Thanks for stopping by. Today I want to talk about the texture hammer and show you the cool things it can do. Let's check it out. So this is a texture hammer and what it is, it's a mini hammer with four interchangeable tips. It comes with a metal tip, a rubber mallet tip, one that has little metal bumps, and one that has metal bars. And the cool thing is these are interchangeable. You just unscrew them to replace them. It also comes with a hammer mat, which is kind of a thick mat that you can use with your hammer and it's designed to really take a beating. So what would you texturize? Well, grunge board, of course, one of my favorite things. You could do grunge board or metal or wire, even paper, but grunge board can really take the beating. And I painted this first with some metallic paint dabbers, so you can take even maybe your hardware piece, take this, paint it with metallic, especially if we're going to go for a hammered metal look. You don't always have to use metallic, of course, but this is pretty cool. I'll just paint this piece, set it aside to dry. And we can take something like this. We'll just take this book plate. Now, when you're going to texturize anything that's a thick material, I like to wet it first. Maybe take the mini mister, spray it with a little water. Just get it just slightly damp. You don't have to soak it. Then we're going to use the bump side. It's going to get noisy. There you go. Looks like hammered metal. It creates all those bumps and divots and grooves in there. It's pretty cool because you can really make your hardware look weathered. Even take something very ornate like this flourish piece and create those dents in there because the grunge board really can take a beating. Now, in addition to grunge board, you can also use a texture hammer, let's say, on your scrapbook page. So you have something like this. It's a layout that's got a pretty rustic design. I've used some grunge board here with some distress powder, but down here I've got just one of those hinges that I hammered up and I've got some brads here. Probably my most favorite thing with the texture hammer is taking my brads and making them look old. Just hammer those away. This creates little dents in there. Check it out. They look like old little nails now. So you can use it to dent up your brads or eyelets or anything that you want to give a distressed kind of a hardware look to it. So in addition to grunge board and brads, you can also use this on metal. This is just a piece of metal. You can use copper or aluminum or anything like that. But this, I just want to show you the different textures this hammer can do. So this one is done with the metal bumps. Again, working on the hammer mat. Just create some little dents. Now I can change this tip. Go to the one with the metal bars. And when I screw this one on, I want to make sure that my bars are kind of horizontal to the handle right here. Now I'm going to use the bars and I just want to use the edge of the bars. So I'm going to hold the handle at an angle because if you just hammer flat, you don't really get much of the effect. Holding at an angle, I can get those crosshatch bars right there. Then I can take this, turn it the opposite direction. and I can create a really cool kind of a linen weave or a canvas look. Now, if you didn't like this and you wanted to flatten it out, you could hammer it with the metal side, or if you don't want to ding up the metal at all, you can use the rubber side. So you can use this on grunge board, chipboard, wire, anything that you really want to beat up and give some texture to. The texture hammer, the tool of choice. Thanks for checking it out. Until next time.